for part 3 of the $42 million sale of the Paramount Collection, dedicated this time to the ancient coins in the sale. We first turn our attention to Ptolemaic Egypt, for a rarely seen offering depicting Berenice II, a silver Pentakai Decadrachum, which is a seldomly seen denomination worth no less than 50 15 silver drachms. To put that into context for a modern audience, it is larger than a modern silver eagle at 43 millimeters in diameter and almost twice the weight at 53 grams. She ruled as co-regent with her husband, the pharaoh Ptolemy III, from the time of their marriage until his death almost 25 or so years later, from 246 to 200 and 22 BCE. She once supposedly cut off her hair as an offering to the goddess Aphrodite in order to return her husband safely from battle. Legend holds it that her hair went missing from the shrine and soon afterwards a new constellation, now called Coma Berenices, which is Latin for Berenices locks, was discovered in the night sky. A photograph from NGC Ancient certifies the coin as an AU star that saw a closing price at auction of $84,000. The first of two Syracusian coins to be featured on this list is a silver tetradrachm from the rule of Gilon I, minted around 485 to 466 BCE. The coin stands as a fine example of Syracuse's status as one of the foremost cities of the ancient Greek world, lovingly crafted by a clearly skilled die carver to depict the classical charioteer driving a quadriga posed by the portrait representing the water nymph Arethusa, surrounded of course by the traditional four dolphins on the other side, achieving a grade of AU star from NGC Ancients to attain a closing price at auction of $90,000. The next gold aureus piece is a simply stunning example from the famed bearded emperor Hadrian, likely struck around the year 128 or 129 at the Rome Mint. After becoming emperor in the year 117, Hadrian quickly abandoned the expansionist policies of his predecessor Trajan, choosing instead to focus on uniting the empire's vast and diverse peoples and building strong defensible borders instead. Nothing is, of course, more emblematic of this policy than Hadrian's Wall, spanning almost 120 kilometers or 73 odd miles across the entire width of northern England, denoting the barrier between Roman conquered or, well, rather the Roman province of Britannia and the unconquered, or as they would have been called at that time, the barbarian tribes towards the north. But Back to the coin, graded by NGC Ancients as mint state with a star designation to boot, it managed to raise $111,000 at auction. The Sumerian kingdom of Bophorus was an ancient kingdom on the Crimean peninsula along the Black Sea, considered as one of the first true Hellenistic Greek settlements, and over time it became a wealthy and influential trading post, oft referred to as the Jewel of the Black Sea. This gold stata coin from the city of Pantacapeum is a pristine example of that wealth, depicting the mythical griffin on its reverse, a creature which has the head of an eagle and the body of a lion, and according to mythology was extremely envious of riches and gold especially, with the obverse bearing the striking impressions of the city's namesake and patron god, Pan. Although NGC seems to argue that it might also have been an older Greek god by the name of Silenus. Now, Silenus was a minor god of winemaking and drunkenness. In mythology, he was a father figure of sorts to Dionysus. The designation on the NGC label is likely because of the ivy leaves uh, that form the reef surrounding his head, resembling grapevines instead. Uh, it is possible, but I do remain unconvinced at this point. But please let me know what you think in the comment section. Either way, this is a stunning masterpiece of ancient numismatics and was graded by NGC Ancients as AU and sold at auction 
for $138,000. The enthusiast of ancient numismatics will no doubt already recognize our next coin, long since having been hailed as one of the most important and indeed beautiful coins ever created, with this type setting itself apart from lesser issues meant merely as a means of exchange to become known as a truly circulating work of art, standing in unison with the Athenian owl and the Lydian status as the most iconic of ancient Greek coins. Impressive to think that a coin of such detail and extremely high relief could have been made in such quantity almost two and a half thousand years ago, during the time of Dionysus the first, no less, in the Greek city-state of Syracuse. Located in modern-day Sicily, this large, fine-styled silver decadrachum was moreover triple-signed by the legendary master engraver Cayman for additional appeal, and received a photo grade from NGC Ancients of Choice AU to close at auction for $216,000. And then we have a medallion or commemorative four ori coin from the reign of Maxentius, likely issued around the year 308, as this piece was meant to commemorate the restoration of the Temple of Venus and Roma in that same year, after the important Rome landmark was ravaged by a fire in 301, almost destroying the entire structure, while according to ancient accounts, miraculously, the statue of Roma housed within the temple remained largely untouched by the fire. On the reverse, we see the goddess Roma, the very personification of Rome herself, here in the style of Minerva with victory in her outstretched hand, with the Capitoline wolf on her shield bringing to mind the legend of Romulus and Remus and the founding of Rome, created by NGC Ancients as Minstate with a 5 for strike and and only a two on surfaces as a result of smoothing, sold at auction for the sum of $312,000. The name Magnentius may not be one that too many people would be familiar with. His rule over the Western Empire can be best described in equal measures as brief as it was violent. A usurper who came to power by betraying and murdering Constance the first, while he was still serving as a member of his personal guard and then taking his place, only to fall on his own sword following a series of absolutely brutal military defeats, including the Battle of Mercia Major, which which is still counted as the most devastating battle in Roman history, leaving an estimated 50,000 or so plus slain in its wake. On his coins though, he liked to portray himself as a champion of the people, his portrait, as with this particular coin as well, depicting him without a royal diadem or any of the usual imperial accoutrements. This massive gold three solid eye coin, or perhaps more accurately medallion, was likely struck around 351 in order to celebrate his supposed liberation of the city of Aquilia, authenticated by NGC as Mint State Star. This fine style masterpiece sold at auction for $336 thousand dollars. If you haven't already, then feel free to have a look at parts one and two from the Paramount collection as well, or simply subscribe and activate notifications with the bell icon to know when new videos are released. For the world numismatic news, I am Numisman saying thank you ever so much for watching, stay safe, keep collecting, and have a fantastic day.